I'm Dr. Orion Taraban, and this is PsychAx Better Living Through Psychology. And the topic of today's short talk is the fundamental attribution error. The fundamental attribution error is a very important cognitive bias shared by almost all human beings. That's why psychologists have termed it fundamental or the most basic or universal attribution error or form of bias that they've observed in people across cultures. Consequently, it's important to understand what this is because it's almost certainly operating in your life and probably to your detriment. Now, before I explain this error, please remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel. It takes less than a second, costs you nothing, and it's how you can support me and my mission to deliver free, high-quality content to the world. So, thank you for your help. So, what is the fundamental attribution error? It's very simple. It's basically that I evaluate my successes characterologically and my failures contextually, but I evaluate other people's failures characterologically and their successes contextually. So those are a lot of big words. Therefore, let's make sure that we're on the same page with a concrete example of the error at work. When I show up on time, it's because I'm somebody who values punctuality. But if I'm late, it's because I was stuck in traffic. On the other hand, if somebody else shows up on time, it's because they're just doing their job. But if they show up late, it's because they're disrespectful. Make sense? Do you see how this might create all kinds of nastiness in interpersonal relationships? In the fundamental attribution error, we are basically giving ourselves the benefit of the doubt and throwing other people under the bus. We also tend to rob others of their good qualities and think inappropriately highly of ourselves. Now, it seems like this is the default mode of evaluation, which is why it's the fundamental attribution error, according to psychologists. So we don't necessarily have to beat ourselves up if we recognize this tendency in ourselves, but we can also work to overcome this bias as well. It's not easy, but it's possible. And if you're interested, the best way to overcome this bias as a mental discipline is to consciously reverse the attribution, give other people the benefit of the doubt, and be harder and stricter with yourself. This creates generosity in interpersonal relationships and this is generally well received. It makes people like you more. And by being harder and stricter with yourself, you give yourself the opportunity to grow and develop as a person. With the right attitude, you can see your failings as an opportunity for growth over which you have some measure of control and responsibility. These failings become your growing edge. And in this way, by consciously reversing the bias, you're constantly given fuel for your own self-improvement. And how is that not to your benefit? Something to keep in mind. What do you think? Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for the algorithm. And see the About tab for more information on donations, consultations, and sponsorship opportunities. Thanks for listening.